When I say bananas, you say peppers. And you guys, sit down with me, grab something delicious to sippy sippy on. Let's check our teeth together for chili. Looking good. Um, I have on one of my favorite comfy t-shirts, you guys. I've been feeling kind of yucky for the past couple of days. So to like cheer myself up, before I take my everything shower with my crispy, crunchy, dirty hair, I thought I would sit down, um, chill out, hang out with you guys, and let's unbox something super fun together. You guys know how much I love miniatures, keychains, gash pawn, stationery, and this is honestly a little bit of all four things. Now the packaging looks like our Remint minis, but the brand that makes these is so ta it's like s o dash t a and that's a brand that i feel like we've recently discovered through our gash pond egg unboxings so i bought this as a complete set um on amazon japan and these are the ic miniature keychains they're all going to be some of them are working even but they're all um, like artsy, stationery, pin, stencil, some things that are in cards that I don't even quite understand. So we do have six boxes in this little case, but I did take one out because I'm going to save this to do ASMR style. Um, and I'm going to put this on my daily Snapchat feed. So if you guys don't follow me there, it's like following me around in my day-to-day -day life. Some days it's like that. Some days I play closet challenges with you guys. Usually every single day I put up some kind of calming relaxing ASMR type video so we do it all there but we do have five boxes to unbox today I have to admit this is kind of the item that sold me on getting this entire set it is not in here it's um what do they call those like the little modeling mannequins oh my god um, so the first thing we got, how amazing would it be if this thing actually really worked? Um, this looks like it's a quill ink pen, which, oh my God, you guys, before I go to sleep, I have to do that. I got some ink from, I think, Jet Pens a while ago, and I finally got, I think, the perfect calligraphy pen, you guys. It's kind of my little goal for myself over the summer is learning calligraphy to some degree. So this is so cute, you guys. This definitely reminds me of the um, keychain mini we got the other day in our gash pond eggs. Cause I said how much I love when there was like a pin and like a package of pins. So this time you guys, we have, now I see is not a brand I'm familiar with, but you're gonna have to let me know. Um, if you have heard of this brand before, we actually have, oh, you guys know I had to try it. It doesn't unscrew, but it's a tiny little um, ink. Are these called ink pots? I don't know. And we also have three additional nibs. Look at that. What an adorable little keychain, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it actually came with, what is this? I don't know. It came with this other, this is kind of what I said, like I really strongly did not know what this was. <laughs> and it looks like you can attach it to your keychain if you wanted. Do you guys see that little like clear? That's probably really hard to see. Like, can you see this clear item? And I really cannot tell what this is. It says, I think I see screen. It almost looks like the inner workings of a computer. What is that? I don't know. Um, so let's unfold this large thing. I don't know. I think we're gonna have to just keep going. I'm not sure if they kind of imply that you can use these with like other keychains that you would get out of this set. Somebody send help. Um, and then here is, what is this little character on the back? Oh my gosh. This is like um, the card that you get, you know, if you get like blind boxes or something and sometimes they come with like 
a card for that specific item. All right, you guys, I'm gonna grab this one and let's rip it open. Could I just open it? No, there is tape there. So we're just gonna rip it and see. Oh my God, yay. Okay, this is the one I was just trying to, no. This is the one I was just trying to tell you guys about. Oh, he's jumping out already. He's very excited to be part of the party. What is this? Oh, this is gonna take thoughts. Um, here is the most exciting part, you guys. Oh my God. What is, oh. <gasps> Y'all, the bag is not open. He just started like shoving his head out of there. Um, all right, you guys. Now, of course, it would have been extra amazing if his little arms and legs were actually posable. Oh my God. Um, but look at him. He's so adorable. Look, he's like, please draw me like one of your French girls. Um, and then this, these pieces here, you guys, are to form the box. Oh, my nose is itching. You guys, allergies off the Richter scale. Um, yes, look, look at that. We would have to cut and form a box. Is there more box pieces? I don't know, you guys. We'll see. We'll see if I do I have the strength to power through this today? I kind of thought it was going to be like the other stationary miniatures we got where they had those nice like pre-peelable tape labels. Do you guys know what I mean? Um, and you could just fold the box and woo, it was so easy. This not so easy. This is not, this looks very intimidating to me today. Um, all right, you guys, the thing that still it doesn't make any more sense in this box unboxing. It just, it almost looks like those matte rulers that maybe you would use for like a cricket machine or something. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but there are like little ticks of measurements. Okay, let's see. What are we gonna get in here? Um, oh, okay. It's another mat. Um, it is the other ink option, you guys. Some of these, they want to leave. Um, so let's go ahead and see. Um, this looks like the pin is the same brand. I mean, I guess everything is this IC brand that looks like it's the, you know, whole brand of this case. Um, and then we have Art White. Is that a type of pin ink? I don't know. Art white sounds like something you would paint a poster board with or something. Um, and then once again, we have a lovely selection of three nibs. Another mat. You guys, I kind of thought that these were going to look a little different. You guys, this has like jewels on it, it looks like. Once again, can be part of the keychain. So beautiful. And then we see these on the back. What are these? Guys, I feel like somehow this went really fast. We do have two boxes left though. So let's oh, <laughs> open it up and see. Oh, nope. Nope, we still have that purple thing. Um, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, this is very interesting. This was the thing I saw on the side of the box that I certainly did not understand. Oh my god, you guys, it's a collection of all of those things. So I should probably bust out Google Translate. It's almost like the font is too small for it to read manuscript paper. Maybe that's what this is meant to be is like, you know, how you buy the different pads of artistic quality papers. Like some of it is meant for watercolors or pastels. Um, so maybe that is what this is advertising. This one, I thought for some reason it was going to be like picture frames. Um, this looks like thunder. You can layer it over this white mat, I guess, to see more clearly. This looks like another effect of some kind. It's cool, but I, I just don't know what it is. And look, we get another screen or something. I don't know. They do say screen, but that's paper. So guys, last box of the day. Let's see, what are we gonna get? It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be more screens. 
More screens, that's what we got. It's another purple thing. You get a purple thing in every box. And let's cut this open. I'm assuming this is another pad of paper. Oh, this is cute. Um, so the front looks relatively the same. And then you get one like white background. And then does this have like little, this looks like lace. And then what is that? like? It almost looks like cactuses or something. All right, you guys, I at least wanted to um, take a moment to see if I could assemble this box, which I'm going to be honest, I don't really like. Although I have gotten some collections we did about a year or so ago. They were these really cool Gashbon, um, and they were like specimen. Oh, look, I've got one right here. I'll show you. These, do you guys remember these? I feel like I cut off the first part of my sentence where I was about to say, I don't really like keychains or Gashbon that have a paper element to them. Cause I feel like it just takes away from the functionality of what is a keychain. <laughs> uh, these were so much fun and they were so cool. We unboxed these probably about a year ago now. They were like dangerous, poisonous specimens and they look really fun. They're definitely some of my most memorable gash pawn that I've ever unboxed, I feel like. And I think some of the stationary series, like I think we had um, a rubber band box or something that was like a cardboard box. I think at least that one had like a like a mini brands kind of, you know, hard plastic box center. Y'all for a minute, I had a brain fart. Um, but yeah, I don't really like keychains that come with paper boxes. I feel like it would be so cool if at least it was like a laminated paper box. You guys know what I, well, mm, that's kind of what this is. I feel like that would still like, you, you can't carry it as a keychain is what I'm trying to say. Also the DIY element of this to DIY for me. Um, so yeah, I wanted to try and I failed because it's like the top. I don't see how this lines up to create both a bottom and a top. You guys, I taped it together all wrong. Maybe by the time I do the next unboxing, I'll have worked that that box out. But anyway, you guys, that's it for these today. I'm not sure if this brand ever did another series or anything like that. These are really fun, but I feel like I don't know enough about some of these things for two out of the five to make sense. So love the miniature pens and ink. Absolutely love this guy. Um, but would I buy these again? Probably not if they had um, so many of these elements that just kind of don't make sense to me. I feel like I did enjoy the other stationary miniature keychains a little bit better because even if I didn't recognize some of the brands, I still knew that they were like scissors or a roll of tape or a box of rubber bands. Uh, but that is it for me today. So let me know all of you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, which is going to be very, very soon, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye.